is Sally Edwards. I'm an academic coach at Chris County Elementary School. Um, I had a few things that we have thought about to um, help teachers create virtual community in their classrooms and to start building relationships um, with the virtual students that we have here. We really want to focus on a balance of some fun um, kind of virtual meetings where you're just getting to know each other. I know a teacher who um, I worked with last year did was when she would record videos to send out to her children, um, she would name every single child in every single video. Um, and she would, you know, wave to them like they were there <laughs> and say, hey, Robin, hey, McKinney, I'm so glad you're here today. Um, and as corny as that sounds, it really did make a difference for the children when they heard their names and their classmates' names, because then it still felt like they were part of that classroom community and sitting on the rug in the morning when their teacher greeted them. It doesn't have to be, you know, all content all the time. Sometimes those getting to know you activities can be just as important because it can help the teacher figure out what's going to connect with this child and help her kind of or him along the way. If children are struggling with getting online or knowing how to participate online, um, one thing that we're we are trying to do is do some one on one phone calls with families. They don't have open house. They don't have that opportunity to meet you and to get that one on one time. So having a Google meet with families is one strategy that some of our schools are doing. And then that allows the teacher one on one to kind of work through any problems that the children may be having in terms of just logistically accessing the platforms or um feeling comfortable speaking out. I know that some children didn't necessarily want to talk on the computer um, when it was a big group. Just like some kids aren't going to speak out in class unless you call on them, <laughs> some children aren't going to be comfortable in that platform. So trying to find ways that you can make sure you're meeting the needs of all of those uh, personalities. We've talked about creating some little book clubs for our older readers, for our children who are reading, um, so that maybe six children are sharing the same virtual book. We're talking about taking those small groups that we might have in the classroom and just doing them in a Google Meet um, or in a Zoom call, however, whatever platform you're using, um, so that children have the opportunity to interact with each other. 